There are many streams in the Ozarks that seem to disappear and reappear randomly. If you walk along tributaries of the Buffalo National River, one minute you'll hear familiar sounds of running water. The next minute, silence. Where does the water go and why? That question, which is related to the interaction of groundwater and surface water, is one the USGS wants to begin to answer as part of an ongoing study. One USGS study by Imes and others estimated about 173 tons of rock were dissolved by water flowing out of Big Spring each day. That's about 72 cubic yards or 2.5 large dump trucks. This rock dissolved by groundwater can result in caverns beneath land surface. In other instances, when enough of the rock is removed to create an unstable condition above the cavern, the overlying rock will collapse forming a sinkhole. As is the case with Big Spring, groundwater flowing through the openings created by dissolution typically emerge at the surface, often in or near a surface water body. The existence of these features underscores the role of groundwater in the Ozark system. Evaluating where or how much groundwater enters or leaves the streams can be tricky. One method to estimate the gain or loss of groundwater to streams is to measure stream discharge at multiple locations. Hundreds of such measurements have been made throughout the Ozarks, and the USGS has compiled these into a single data set for use in a geographic information system. Another method to literally see groundwater entering a stream uses thermal imaging. Because groundwater is insulated from rapid shifts in surface temperature, it tends to emerge from the ground at temperature either above or below surface water. In our case, thermal imaging was taken during the winter, so groundwater is actually warmer than the surrounding surface water. Groundwater can emerge at single point locations from springs adjacent to or underneath surface water bodies, or it can enter slowly, diffusing into the surface water. Information gained through these methods help in developing tools, such as numerical models of the groundwater system. These tools can then provide information regarding the supply of water underground and how much flow in streams is provided by groundwater, while helping to ensure the future sustainability of the Ozark aquifer system.